Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis, where we bring to you all the latest developments happening in the defense sector. Satellite images show huge Russian military buildup in the Arctic. And Russia is planning to test its new era weapon, in an area that has recently emerged from the ice, due to the ongoing climate crisis. As per the report from CNN, it is a bid by Russia to secure its northern coast, and open up a key shipping route from Asia to Europe. The weapon which Russia is developing is not just any other weapon, but it's a Russian super weapon, which can start a fresh new arms race. It is a torpedo called Poseidon 2M39. This torpedo could unleash radioactive tsunamis on coastal cities, which can not only destroy them completely, but also making them inhabitable for any living being. Poseidon is one of the most disruptive weapons currently being developed. It is designed to hit coastal cities with a 2 megaton warhead, around 133 times more powerful, than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. It has been designed to evade the coastal defenses on the sea floor. The nuclear-capable underwater drone Poseidon, alternatively referred to as an unmanned underwater vehicle, UUV, autonomous underwater vehicle, AUV, or simply an intercontinental range, nuclear autonomous torpedo, is expected to enter service with the Russian Navy by 2027. The drone is listed in Russia's state armament program for 2018 to 2027, and is expected to be delivered to the Russian military in the late 2020s. The Russian Navy is expected to receive up to 30 Poseidon UUs. The nuclear-powered Poseidon underwater drone will be test-launched from the Belgorod submarine. The drone, shaped like a giant torpedo, is built to carry a nuclear warhead weighing up to 2 megatons and is described by weapons analysts as a doomsday nuke. Powered by a small nuclear reactor, the Poseidon has a believed range of 10,000 kilometers across the world's oceans. If Poseidon is launched from the Barents Sea, or other waters in the Arctic, it can autonomously cross the North Atlantic. If detonated off the eastern coast of the United States, the nuclear warhead could create a tens of meters high tsunami wave, in addition to damage caused by the nuclear blast itself. Christopher Ford, former Assistant Secretary of State for International Security and Non-Proliferation, had said that the Poseidon is designed to inundate U.S. coastal cities with radioactive tsunamis. Russia has ramped up its buildup of military bases and hardware on Arctic coastline, together with underground facilities for high-tech weapons like Poseidon. The Russian buildup has also been matched up by US and NATO troops in Norway along with the deployment of B-1 Lancer bomber. The high-tech weapons are regularly tested by Russia in the Arctic region, along with the Zircon anti-ship hypersonic cruise missile. The Zircon and the Poseidon are part of a new generation of weapons, pledged by Putin in 2018 as strategic game-changers in a fast-changing world. On 25 March, TASS reported the test of the Zircon hypersonic missile, from the Russian frigate Admiral Gorshkov to have been successfully completed. The four launches of the hypersonic missile was conducted and it was able to hit its target successfully. The Zircon will also be tested from a nuclear-powered submarine in near future. Zircon has a range between 1000-2000 kms depending on the warhead payload. The missile can attain the hypersonic speed between Mach 8 to Mach 9, which will make it literally unstoppable by any air defense system. This was today's update, please let us know your views and opinion regarding the same in comment section. Feel free to suggest any topic on which you want to hear from us. We will be soon back with more amazing development happening in the defense sector.